What's up, y'all? It's me, Erica. Y'all at home? I know y'all at home, so... Hello. Hi. How y'all doing? <laughs> What's going on? We're going to talk about a few things this morning. This morning, this morning, this morning. Um, just real quick, I just got to come down here real quick, give you a video real quick, and get back to my damn where I need to be. You know what I'm saying? That's a lot of people sleeping in their cars. Oof. I can, you can tell when you come to the park you can see the people you know in the parking lot times is hard out here it's, times is hard out here get right here all the crows out here the seagulls out here there's people out here people walking their dogs not a lot though not a lot i hope everybody's having a good um day hope this reaches you in the best of health um, oh, I need to I need to keep the car on because I want it to be get get warm in here I don't have my coffee this morning I didn't um, there's geese down there too um, I didn't make any coffee this morning or tea this morning but I, every night I've been doing my little um, my little detox tea you know what I'm saying I think ingesting a lot of herbs that are that boost your immune system is so important. I mean, you should be doing it anyway, but you know, if you're not, now's a great time to start to develop a healthy habit or what have you. So get into it. You know what I'm saying? Um, not much has been going on. Everybody's been at home, so people have not really been able to act of give you newsworthy foolery. You know what I'm saying? Um, yesterday, let's see. Oh, yesterday I was tired after, I, you know, I've been working from home and yesterday I was, oh shit, I was tired. Um, it's, it's so important that I can imagine like people who work or are not used to working from home or people who work in a, from a space where they really need guidance from like a leader or a supervisor or a manager or something like that. I imagine it. I imagine it being hard for, for them to work from home. Um, I was laughing earlier because of I was thinking about micromanagers and how they're really probably freaking out. Like, they don't have any control over anything. You know, those are really controlling people. And when they can't, you know, have their hand on somebody, can't touch somebody, they, they freak out. So I can imag imagine all you micromanagers out there, you know, at home freaking out not knowing what to do with your employees because you don't know what they're doing at home and you so used to hovering and helicoptering and everything else so shout out to y'all um yeah i had some people you know that's this is something that i've always wanted i've always wanted to be able to work from home remotely because my goal is to work remotely so that i can live where i want to live i can create an environment and a home that's why it's so important that your house and your home is your sanctuary right now um shout out to people who are in the house with people they do not care for um you know though people have situations where they're living with somebody they can't stand whether it be a spouse a roommate what ha whatever um you know you can continue to stay in your room or stay away from the person but I imagine it being very difficult for people who are living with people they don't particularly like and you know I know that's a weird like Erica you be thinking of the craziest shit but it's true people live with people they don't like and they work is where how they get away from these people you understand what I'm saying and so I'm just thinking like ooh I can't imagine being in a house with somebody right now that is getting on my nerves. It would be nice to have somebody that, you know, you 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 like to be at home with you. Um, but still practice your social distancing, I guess, you know, be in the other room or whatever. You can do that, you know. Um, you can do that. It's all good. So, shout out to y'all. What else? What other, other shit I was thinking about? Oh, I was thinking about, like, why... We, I don't want anybody to be offended. Y'all been real easily offended today. Somebody in the comments say, said that y'all been acting a fool in the comments because y'all can't go to work and make your coworkers miserable. So y'all been down in the comments making content creators miserable. Because I have seen Bondi, Rox, RLM3, 
um, the, the man that does the Real Housewives of Atlanta reviews, he does the he reviews all kind of stuff, but he's, you know, he said he had to make a statement about the comment section. I was like, okay, so even though I have my little boutique channel, you know what I'm saying? There's other people who have way more, I can imagine, oh my God, who have way more supporters and subscribers than I, and they are dealing with the same sh people in the comments acting you know getting beside themselves getting cute i always think of it like this if we were in a round table discussion in person and we're talking about a particular a particular situation or topic or whatever would you say the things to me in my face that you say down in the comments just think about that would you say when you're responding to someone in the comments would you say that to their face if we were sitting in a round table having a discussion about these same topics? Because a lot of that stuff be real, real rude. Um, you know, it'd be just rude. Don't be rude to each other. We already talking shit about other people. Like, acting a fool. We already talking shit. So, now you want to get in the comments and talk shit to the people we have. We talking shit. We talking shit about somebody else and you want to get in the comments and talk shit to me. No! We're not doing that. It's too much. <laughs> it's too damn much. Anyway, sun is rising. I guess it's going to be our thing, honey. The little sunrise special every morning for the come up. We here with the sunrise. That's how early you know it is for the diva. Um, what else is going on? I did watch Justin J's video about, uh, I didn't know, I didn't pay attention so much of, of how many times Nene mentioned Candy's name um, in her delusional, you know, review. I'm over at the delusion channel. Um, y'all, did y'all watch that video? That video on Nene? Nene's crazy. And let me tell y'all what. Let me tell y'all what it is about Lanethia. I'm gonna tell y'all what it is. And Nate said it. Someone else in the comments said it. I'm writing down topics that we talk about. Um, um, cause I forget. Um, Candy, Kenya. Cynthia, Eva, who else is on that show? Kim, was Kim Kim? No, that's why Kim and her was acting fool. But okay, so here's the, here's the rationale. Candy, Kenya, Cynthia, and Eva. All of those women had careers and notoriety prior to Real Housewives of Atlanta. Nene Leakes, on the other hand, she was an extra in The Last Temptations and the video, and it was on the cutting room floor. It didn't even make production. This is Nene's baby. This is her claim to fame. That's why she's clawing for this crazy crown. And this is, I remember, this is when I started to stop liking Nene when it was this idea that there was this queen bee position that she needed to maintain and truth be told Nene doesn't have anything before Real Housewives of Atlanta so when she calls that she's leaving she'll, she'll be back she'll be back this is her shit and that's the reason why she keeps saying this is my shit I'm the queen of this because we didn't know Nene did y'all know Nene before Real Housewives of Atlanta I can't hear you. Oh, okay. Did you know Candy? Did you know Kenya? Did you know Eva? Did you know Cynthia? Now, to be honest, I didn't know Cynthia. I knew Cynthia was a model, but I didn't know her like that. I don't think Cynthia wasn't a big enough model. I remember her being in videos and stuff like that, but I didn't know that was Cynthia Bailey. You understand what I'm saying? I wasn't like, oh, okay. I know that that's, it wasn't like a Naomi Campbell. No, no shade. No shade. No shade. Because Cynthia is a beautiful woman. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. No shade, Cynthia. No shade. But she didn't, you know, Cynthia had a career before this. She was a model before this. Nene was an extra or actor, you know, you know, and it doesn't, I don't know. I don't know. That's my, that's, that's my theory along with other people have the theory that, um, Nene is not, this is her thing and that's the reason why she acts a fool about I'm the queen and they just want to they just want to holler with the queen all of these women are queens outside of that they can still hold reign in whatever they want to be you know as much as you want to take away from Kenya and how many years ago it's whatever 
of her title and stuff, it's still her title. She still has it. You're not going to look back on Barack Obama and be like, well, he was president 40 years ago or 20 years ago. That don't mean shit. You know what I'm saying? A title and a crown and a sash for that community means a lot. So you can't take that away from her. Candy, you cannot take away Candy's success and her background and all that. other. You just can't take those things away from her. Eva, she won a damn modeling competition. We knew who she was. She's a model. She got into modeling and stuff. Um, who is the other lady? And that's it. Who else? Candy, Cynthia, Kenya. All of those women have things before that. Tanya even has a career. Even though she works for her, her, um, her husband, you know, she had a career before this. All of these women have careers before this. And this, that's why Nene acts a fool about it. And, you know, she had, she mentioned Candy's name so many times. Candy made a trailer. Talking about Candy, like Candyman, a Candyman trailer. Go watch Justin D J's video because he plays the damn trailer. Candy probably, probably, I mean, you can go to Candy's channel, I guess. Um, but, yeah, I didn't know. So, you know, we see each other. We see each other. So, you know, Candy has never really seen it for um, Nene from the beginning, from the very beginning. Uh, when they were at Sheree's little party and and nini was trying to tell kim that you know your song would be better if i was on it people are not really gonna be fucking with you and this and that and you know and they just have had a, a love hate relationship heavy on the hate the way the same as kenya but they're more they're more like a girl i know who you i know all about you girl we're not we'll never be you know what i'm saying and you know, now that they now that Kenya and Candy are friends and they we really see how loyal Candy is to Kenya, Cynthia's I mean Cynthia, Nene is not happy about that. She's really coming undone. Like I said, over there looking like the ghost of Christmas past. She looks a mess over there. Um I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, um another thing that I wanted to talk about yesterday um did y'all see black ink crew you know i don't review black ink crew because i watch it because it's entertainment for me it's my guilty pleasure but it has been really tackling some really good issues like um mental health issue with alcoholism with walt and his um fiance she told him she wants to go to couples counseling um and then you have um i watched i fell asleep on um what the flock so i'm gonna have to get get you guys that maybe tomorrow um but yeah, I know tomorrow's Saturday, but you know, we probably might as well do this. And this getting up and coming here and doing this gives me, it's still normal for me. So that's the reason why I'm like, okay, I'm getting up, you know, putting on little clothes or whatever, you know, putting on a little gloss and coming out here, down here to talk to y'all. So it it's not my schedule and it's not, hasn't been so you know, disrupted. So it's kind of a, this gives me a sense of normalcy for me. Um, what was I saying? Oh, um, Bay and her father. Um, and that was a really hard scene to watch. I actually cried for her. I felt really, really bad for her. I felt so bad that she didn't have anyone there supporting her at no point in that in that confrontation with that girl's father who was very 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 abusive to her her siblings and her mother that they had to run away from him and hide in like a trailer a crazy like a like a, a, a aluminum like trailer y'all saw it if y'all watch black and crude y'all saw where her and her mother went and fled from their father and he was always talking to talk calling them telling them he was going to kill them and stuff like that so that he wanted to see her i guess he is sick or something like that they always want to see you when they about to die and she was hollering and screaming and it was just really sad and i was sad for her because there was no one there to it to hold her and to support her now they might have had somebody off camera but i didn't see anyone there with bay to comfort her she was literally screaming to the top of her lungs at this man like he said he didn't know how to be a father she was like you didn't know how they're speaking in korean too she was like you didn't know how to be a father so you decided to beat us like what the like she was really going off and she was hollering and screaming and then they were like you know maybe like i guess they figured like this is too much for us this is too much than what we bargained for and it is i don't think that that as much as real as that was I, I think that they needed support. She didn't have any support. They're dealing with issues like with Alex and Donna. 
she is 27 years old no kids he's around the same age he has one kid they got an animal i think he wants to have a baby and she's sitting here trying to tell him that she has a has a crush on Tati and they they try they getting familiar with each other and he wants her to have a baby. She's like, I'm 27 years old with no kids. If I have any kids, I'm going to be married. That's that's what she said. I was like, OK, Donna. And then she was looking at him like and he was like, well, you're not getting any younger. You need to have a baby. We need to have a baby. We need to do this. And then, you know, in the middle of your pregnancy, you can we can we can get married. She was like, so I could be a fat ass bitch in my wedding dress. <laughs> I was like Donna was she was like, what kind of shit is that? Like, what is wrong with you? You want me to have a baby before I get married? I'm 27 years old. I'm not about to make no dumbass decision like that. I was like, okay, Donna. Donna was like, whatever, Alex. You sound dumb as hell. That's what you want to... Because he was like, you know, I really wanted to talk to you. I was like, okay, he's about to confess a feeling to her. He's about to let her know how he feels about her. Maybe I was thinking... I didn't think he was going to propose, but she was like... she And I was, I was looking like, okay, Donna, um... She was like, a baby? <laughs> Donna was pissed. I was pissed for her too. I was like, this nigga wants her to have a baby. And then she was like, so I could be a fat ass bitch in a wedding dress. <laughs> she was so mad at him. But bitch, let me tell y'all something. Oh, shout out to all the DJs who are not working in clubs right now. I was thinking about club owners and things like that and people who work in service industries like that. DJs, shout out to all the DJs out there who move the crowd, who are actually the talent at these clubs and should probably get paid more than they get paid. But y'all should go live, spin some music for a couple hours a day, drop your cash app so people so you can make some money you don't have to be in a club to you know make money and get paid by a club owner or a club promoter you can do your shit from home get set your shit up spend some music even if you i mean i i know that y'all a lot of y'all really ain't spending anything i mean no shade but if you really spend in vinyl or you know or if you just want to make music just so people at home can have you know a couple hours a day with music drop your cash app and get paid that's just a tip i'm here to help all right another thing i wanted to talk about is kelly loafer appears to have had briefings on um the coronavirus and that is uh, that is the theory as to why all these ceos were dropped or have been stepping down because they had information on the coronavirus and they moved their stocks around drop stocks um and then invested in citrix and citrix is a um tele-networking environment and system that people who work from home use so so that what you staring at me for um she didn't inform the public when she found out she just moved some stocks around a la martha stewart so these people knew what the fuck was going on. They didn't even around. Somebody showed a newspaper article where it was the cover of, I think, the L.A. Times where they were talking about Kobe um, and his transition. And on the side, it says um, that people they were trying to find a cure or a vaccine for the coronavirus. So that was in, in January. So there has been word of this. And I think that it really says a lot about the, the government. And I think that old boy needs to understand that this you're up for re-election and this could have a negative effect that's why he's trying to do all the stimulus stuff but uh 1100 or 1800 dollars ain't gonna do nothing that damn those damn stimulus checks need to be at least 2500 dollars. and if you make a certain amount of money you should not get a stimulus little stimulus check you don't need to stimulate the economy okay um but yeah she didn't inform the public her husband works is the chair at the new york stock exchange and she moved her she just basically heard they just basically did what martha stewart did um it just okay here it is kelly loafer offloaded up to 3.1 million dollars worth of stock and bought stock worth um worth between 100,000 and 250,000 in citrix which is a tech firm that provides networking for telework software whose stock has managed to rise amid the chaos um, FYI, Citrix customers include DOD, IRS, VA, and DHS. 
So you had you had word that something was going to happen, that people were going to have to stay home. So did you drop you unloaded some stock and then bought stock in the in the firm that actually provides telenetworking. Okay, girl. All right, girl. Another thing that happened um, yesterday or over this coronavirus, Angelica Ross from Pose, Candy from Pose. Um, she was also in um, American Horror Story, American Horror Story 1984. She paid the, the camp counselor nurse. Um, she, <sighs> so sad. It's so sad. She posted onto um, Twitter a picture of her and her partner finally found him and I have to distance myself from him an early test we're committed to passing I miss you B baby when I tell you that she posted a picture of her and her partner somebody let her know that this man has a fiance and children it says right here Angelica found uh, found this man and was dating this man she posted this picture of him on Twitter saying that she's social distancing from him. And Twitter found out that he has a kid and he's engaged and Angelica has been talking to his fiance. Now, if you don't know, Angelica is a trans woman and this man and her have been dating and he has a whole fiance about to get married. But y'all want to blame these communities. You want to blame these communities for the destruction of the black family, right? But this man has a getting ready to create a family and he's in relationship with another woman. But then when it comes out that he's doing something he's not supposed to do, if if he said, oh, I didn't know, or I didn't know, then y'all would believe him. He's already lying, already lying, already entering a relationship lying, lying to her, lying to his fiance, lying to his family. And this poor, this poor woman, you know, is so happy she's in a relationship. You know, it's very difficult if you listen to the stories of trans women and trans men especially trans women it is it is hard to find they have a hard time finding partnership healthy partnerships right they have a hard time doing that because of the way that we live the world that we live in and for her to have believed that she found this person that she cares so much about to the you know she's posting pictures online you know, saying that I'm going to miss you, you know, this is a test of our relationship and this and that. And it turns out he has a wife. I mean, you know, a fiance and is about to get married. It's just so sad. And the deception of these men and then to turn around and these men be believed that they didn't know or I was doing this. This is just a plain example of a man cheating on a woman and, you know, she posted pictures of him and they've been like, Girl, he's he's in a relationship. Can you imagine? And did, then to find out on a public platform, like, girl, this guy that you posted, he got a baby and a fiance. So she been on the phone with the fiance all morning. This is this was yesterday. And in less than, let me tell you something. Let me tell you how Twitter works, baby. And she posted that picture, and in less than twenty four hours, somebody was like, sis. This man, uh, sis, this man got a baby. Crazy, right? So crazy, Twitter FBI. Yes, you know, Twitter be on it. I feel bad for her. I feel so sad for her. There were some people laughing at her. I don't think it's funny. I don't think it's funny. I don't even think it's funny for anybody to be cheated on in that way. To be like that and then to be on a public platform like, oh my boo, you know, and then to turn around and everybody's like, girl, no, that's not your boo. He's your boo and somebody else's boo. This ain't shit and whatever. Um, yeah. It's gross. It's gross. 
So all of California has been put on lockdown. Um, Governor Gavin Newsom has um, put everybody on lockdown. So if you are a non-essential um, employee or work for a non-essential company, you've been shut down. Like yesterday, I was getting texts from my beauty supply. Yes, I get texts from my beauty supply. Um, they sent two texts out yesterday saying, we're about to close. Y'all need to come down here and get whatever it is that you need to get your hair, to keep your hair together because we're getting ready to close because we've been put on lockdown. So we closing at 8 o'clock tonight and we're not opening up until the, the people say we can open back up. I don't know how they can do that. But to me, I feel like... Um, you could still do that because they said no more than 30 people or no, no more than 50 people in a space at a time. So you can do that. Just say, you know, I don't know. You'd have to just be hella organized, like, and letting people into the beauty supply, like, okay, only 10 people at a time, or we're open from this time to this. I don't know. I don't know. A lot of people are getting laid off. <laughs> they said that the, that the unemployment um, claims have went up considerably. Um, something that I saw yesterday. Hold on, let me tell you. Um, where is it? California. It says that the unemployment rate, the unemployment, hold on. I'm going to find the stat so I can give it to you. It's crazy, the number, how it rose so quickly. Um I told y'all it's going to be the, the cure to capitalism. I told y'all. They're going to have to figure out how to function. We're going to have to, we, there's a lot of, there's just a lot of things that people have to adjust and, and, and like the air is so clean. Like there's so many benefits to what's happening, but so many people who are suffering from this, um, because it's just really sad. It's just really sad. Um, yeah, it says, Normally, the state of California averages 2,000 claims, um, uh, unemployment claims a day. On Tuesday, 80,000 claims were filed. So a lot of people are, you know, I don't know how this is going to work out. I hear a lot of people calling for um, the government to enforce people staying home. I, I don't understand where that logic comes from. We already have a militarized police force and you want them to be able to have a say on whether somebody can be outside or not? No, absolutely not. I don't want to hear no fucking shit like that. Charlamagne was on there talking with Andrew Wang, talking about there needs to be, it needs to be enforced. He was like, no, it doesn't. Like, don't say, don't talk no shit like that. You sound crazy as hell. Don't talk no shit like that. Anyways, y'all. That's my time. I just came down here to give you a little, you know, little talk, have a little chat with y'all this morning. Um, as the sun rises, we'll be back here tomorrow, hopefully. Um, and I hope you guys are taking care of yourselves. Make sure you are d taking things to boost your immune system. You understand? Your immune system. Go online, look for things, celery juice. Um, you know, I've been doing celery juice in the mornings with ginger and lemon. Just, just whatever you need to do. It's a good thing if you go to the grocery store. Um, make sure that you're washing your vegetables. You could do like a vinegar wash or with a little bit of baking soda in there, a little bit of lemon juice and wash your vegetables down or whatever. If you have that vegetable cleaner, so they sell vegetable, like, you know, cleaner, cleaner vegetables, but make sure you clean. If you, if people are leaving produce, but I think it's a great time to, if you have a juicer to get produce and so you can put those nutrients in your body, it's really a great time to do that. There's a lot of good things that we can take from this, but so many people are are suffering that you know we just want to we want to bring that down here to these streets because i know a lot of people are just like eh. so you just want to stay positive try your best to stay positive um you know and just you know take care of yourself wash your hands clean your doorknobs you coming in and out of the house you know make sure you are practicing you know good hygiene and you i, I don't i know i don't have to tell y'all that but there's some people that need to know that wash your hands moisturize your hands you know if you need to go out if you have access to you know 
gloves or whatever while you out touching stuff and da 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 wear your gloves it's not a big deal this is what we're in i can't believe that in my in my lifetime we've i've seen so many things like this but this is one of, i've never seen anything quite like this um it's a time time to be alive anyways y'all take care of each other protect your energy wash your hands let's get down in the comments and we'll talk about it peace